This is part two of the video providing an orientation to coded segments, covering complex retrieval of coded segments. We first look at the coding query, illustrating how weight applied to coded segments can be used as the basis of retrieval. We then show the complex coding query feature and provide three illustrations using the intersection function and the near function. In addition to the simple retrieval of coded segments, we can retrieve coded segments in more complex ways using MaxQDA's coding query feature. You'll see in the analysis menu that there are two options. The coding query retrieves coded segments in similar ways to those I've already shown, but has the additional option of retrieving coded segments for activated codes and documents based on having applied weight to coded segments. In this project, we set the default weight to 50, halfway between the available scale of 0 to 100, so all coded segments have the default weight of 50 unless we changed this. In this project, we wanted to indicate the strength of concern that respondents expressed in relation to the younger generation, and we used weight to do this. So, for example, when retrieving coded segments for the concern for younger code, you can see that some of the coded segments have the default weight of 50, but for others this value has been increased to either 75 or 100, to capture greater than average expressions of concern for the younger generation. To retrieve only the coded segments that have been applied the weight value of 70 or 100, I can use the coding query. Here you'll see that I'm focusing this on only activated codes. The concern for younger is the one I have currently activated, and I'm choosing to use the weight filter to only retrieve coded segments for that code that have either 75 or 100 applied to them. And in the Retrieve Segments window, I've now only got 10 coded segments rather than 15 that have been applied to the code across all documents. So these are the 10 coded segments that have the weight of either 75 or 100 applied to them. Sometimes, though, I may want to retrieve coded segments on the basis of even more complex criteria, for example, to retrieve where two or more codes occur together in the data, or where a certain code precedes another one. MaxQDA's complex coding feature allows coded segments to be retrieved using a combination of criteria in this way. When you open it up, you can see that there are various options to choose from. The function drop-down menu provides access to the different query operators that you can use. These are each described in Chapter 5, but clicking on each option provides a useful visualisation on the right-hand side, showing you the basis upon which coded segments will be retrieved. You can also see that there are options for scoping the query to particular activated documents, to use the weight filter and to retrieve coded segments that have been created by particular users. In this video I'll show you three examples of using the complex coding query. Two using the intersection function and one using the near function. The intersection function will retrieve coded segments where all the codes specified occur together in the data, or intersect. For this example, I'm going to use this function to retrieve coded segments within the focus group documents where both the security code and the concern for younger codes intersect. You can see on the right hand side in the document system that I've already activated the focus groups document set and I've chosen the security and concern for younger codes in box A of the query tool. When I hit start, the query will run. But of course, I need to have my Retrieve Segments window open to visualise the five coded segments that have been retrieved based on the criteria that I set. As you know from other videos in this series, it's not only possible to activate documents based on document groups or document sets, but also on the basis of the variable values that have been applied to documents. 
This time I'm interested in the intersection between the family and jobs lost codes amongst survey respondents. But I want to retrieve coded segments for this intersection only amongst those respondents who live in an urban rather than a rural area. If I activate the survey document group before running this query, then I'll see coded segments that satisfy the intersection amongst respondents living in both rural and urban areas. So before running the query, I'm going to activate documents that have the urban variable value applied to them. I do this by right-clicking in the document system and choosing to activate by document variables. You'll see that I've already chosen the urban variable value, so I'll just hit the activate button. And scrolling down the document system, you'll see in the survey group that some documents have been activated, but not all of them. The activated ones are only those that have the urban variable value applied to them. So now I'm ready to run my complex coding query. And you'll see that the two codes that I'm interested in are already sitting in box A. And it's telling me down at the bottom that it's already found four segments in the activated documents. I'll hit the start button and open my retrieve segments window. And there I can see those four coded segments retrieved on the basis of the intersection between two codes and the presence of a variable value. Sometimes it may be necessary to retrieve coded segments on a different basis. So I'm just going to show you the near function. I'm going to deactivate the documents and the codes before I start. And this time I'm interested in the security code and the self-esteem reduced code. But I don't want to see where they intersect. I just want to see where they occur near to one another in the data. I'm going to run this across all documents. So I'm not going to activate anything in the document system. Because I've activated the two codes I'm interested in, they're automatically sitting in box A, but I don't want the intersection function this time. I want the near function. This means that I need to make sure that I've got one code in box A and the other code in box B. So I'm just going to remove self-esteem reduced from box A so that you can see that we're looking for security where it's near self-esteem reduced. And you can see that I've set the distance at two paragraphs. When I click Start, I can see in the Retrieve Segments window two coded segments. And when I choose to retrieve those in their document browser context, you'll see the security code is applied to paragraph 43, followed by the self-esteem reduced code in paragraph 44. And the second coded segment that's been retrieved, you can see again that security occurs in paragraph 18 and self-esteem reduced occurs in paragraph 16. So you can see that the near function is just retrieving coded segments where they're near to one another within two paragraphs of one another, but the order is not specified. If I wanted to only find coded segments where one code preceded another, then I would use a different function, the followed by function. You may have noticed that MaxQDA retrieved only the coded segments for the security code, and that's because in the coding criteria window, I specified to give me the result based on the code in window A, but I could choose window B, and that would give me the other two coded segments, those applied to self-esteem reduced. Or indeed, I could have chosen to retrieve both. That will give me four coded segments in the Retrieve Segments window.